Yeah, it's always going to be a good time seeing him. Sort of thing. And since it's in spurts, you kind of like forget how bad of a guy he is. And just like, yeah, that's right, you're a good guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of those guys. Do you have any favorite moments with him during your playing days? Oh, it's too many. It's far too many. Um, one, I think he. I, I said I was going to see him in the summer, and I don't know if you're familiar with this. So most players, they say like, yeah, yeah, I'm coming to your place, like, yeah, but they don't. It's a pump fake, right? It's just like I think they're just being nice. But I, I don't think, it, I don't think he thought I was serious. <laughs> so I just showed up and I texted him, and he was like, he came and picked me up. And so the moment was, uh, it was my first time in Seattle. Um, he picked me up in his blazer, so it was like open roof. And so wind was blowing, sunset was there. I was like. My goodness, this is very romantic. So, yeah, that's how it is in my head. It was probably like raining out there, but in my brain, what a lovely moment. A lovely moment. Yeah. What's the level of concern with the team way things are going the last week or so? What's the level of concern? Yes. I don't know. Odd question. Um, hard to think about. I guess it's uh, we're staying professional about it. I guess it makes, makes sense in my head. Um, yeah. Staying professional about it. Obviously, it's frustrating, but you know, again, we just got to go through this thing, of cleaning little things up, and then uh, moving forward. What are some of the maybe most? Good enough. Right? That's good enough. Mate. That's good enough. Mate. Yeah, that's good enough. Mate. What are some of the most important things you felt like you guys were able to get done today to, to work on heading into tomorrow's game? Uh, I think it's just our defensive rotations. Just trying to clear up a couple things, a couple different actions. We we're kind of uh, yeah, it's just a bit of. With, you know, better indecision here and there. So we're trying to clear up the indecisions and whatnot. Um, but yeah, a lot of made all of it comes down to is just communication. Yeah. So. It, it, is the key almost simplifying things to an extent? Like, is that is that what makes it easiest on players? If, if it's very clear cut, okay, yeah. this is what I'm supposed to do in this situation. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a bit different. Like, there's nothing complicated about it. But again, if the, once you bring in the speed of the actual game and of how people run there, how fast they're running their sets, that's that's the difficult part. So that's where the indecision comes in. I mean, if you know, obviously if they're, if they're a bit slower, then you have more of a window. You know, to have to be kind of like, oh, what shall I do? But like, you can't really think with teams that actually move around quite fast. You can't. You just have to go instinctively. Um, improving that just comes from drills. You know, just getting into that like kind of muscle memory, reading your reading your own teammate. And just going immediately like that, you know, that's that's what it comes down to, really. Um, I think I don't know, just picking it up. Like. Stephen, what do you think's been the issue um, this season in terms of the consistency, whether it's on offense or defense? What is the what's that? Um, the consistency of the team, you know, being able to put together, string together a week or two of strong defensive performances, and being able to put together you know, a week or two of strong offensive performances. What, what what do you think has been the problem in terms of consistency there? Um. I mean, it's just just one of those. It's not one of those things. I mean, most of it just comes down to the repetition of certain things. Um, I think some of it is just like a bit of the bit of the scouting, not from like assistant coach standpoint, but like the drilling of that scout. If that makes sense, like getting used to some of these like some of these different matchups. Sometimes they play super small. They, some of their players do a bunch of little different things. They kind of put other players in spots that they haven't been really drawing on. Does that make sense? Like they, they feel like they're out of position because they haven't had that rotation before. Um, so it's more so that that's what the inconsistencies uh, defensively. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically the problem is just getting reps and keeping, trying to keep everything sharp in the rotation. Um, offensively, I don't know. Yeah, that's just, it's just one of those weird things like you can take a bunch of tough shots, they go in. Take a bunch of easy shots, they don't go in. But the you know, main thing is just executing and pace. That is the thing, mate. Yeah. Once we keep the pace up and going, keep our speed up, that's usually when we're at our best. Yeah. Do you feel like y'all have run into teams as the season's gone on who have, you know, had a, have, have scouted you all better than earlier in the season or have known how to kind of attack y'all's weaknesses better than you know, earlier in the season when it seemed like y'all had more defensive consistency and the shots were falling in? So you're saying, did they scout us, basically? Do you feel like when you play teams, I guess, basically since the turn of the year, when you know, the teams got more difficult or maybe defense started to show some cracks, uh, do you feel like these, those teams are more prepared to attack your defense than they were earlier in the season? I think so. Um, but, yeah, it's just, 
It's just one of those things, bro. You, you, you're gonna lose in the league if you kind of don't make adjustments. You know what I mean? So obviously they're gonna scout, kind of just anyone can do it, mate. See what they're doing defensively, and try and just exploit it, really. Um, yeah, I mean they're so good now. There's so many analytics players. Of course they're gonna make adjustments as the year goes on. So I think to answer your question, yes, it's more difficult. I think. How do you think you, how do you think you all have adjusted to other teams' adjustments? Um, I think we did it did okay. Yeah, just okay. Obviously, you could always do better adjustments here and there, but won't be perfect. But I feel like our our scrambling itself and impulse kind of helped us out a lot. Like a train, that makes sense. Yeah. I think that helped out a lot. That makes sense. Back to the next thing. What's something that you, like a casual fan, might not know about him that he brought to the team, that he brought to the organization, the community? Um, a lot of it. Yeah. I mean, because it's not just playing, obviously. He's, he's more of a culture builder, that guy. You know? Um, yeah. He's just one of those dudes that's like constantly professional. And just very, he's not emotionless, but he's just, yeah, he's just like, you know, pretty steady hit, if that makes sense. You know, just very, yeah, very, very cool, calm, and click. Um, yeah, he's just always one of those dudes that, like, you know, everyone can talk to. He always says, not necessarily the nicest thing, which is not what you want. Uh, it's, it's more of the right thing, you know what I mean? So, and that's what kind of gets everyone to go forward. That's how you grow. Um, but very blunt, and he puts it very, just how it is mm. so then you grow from that so that's that's probably the best thing that he, he did bring um, for me it's just a just a friendship you know for being away from home having a bloody another lad you know yeah he was good he was old but uh, he was good he was still good <laughs> age difference but it doesn't matter young at heart yeah Stephen, how can, um, how can Nick check into the game and as soon as we check into the game everybody knows he's going to throw that backdoor pass and he still is able to do it